go get them again. Welcome back to the Robozoe channel. I'm your host, Mark, and on the docket today, we have an unboxing first impression video on the brand of Royal Crown. This is my very first dip into this line. Uh, I was not jumping for joy to smell this brand. I was not in a rush to smell this brand as the presentation of them. And again, online, this is all I have. And it seems like they're a little try hard. Um, there are, we are luxury, but honestly, you kind of look cheap in my opinion. Um, that's where this brand falls into place for me. Now this is Tenebra, Tenebra. Um, I have actually a few from Frag, Flag, Frag Flex returned products uh, from them. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta review six of these. Um, and uh, not that I gotta, I don't have to. Um, careful, choose your words wisely, Mark. Um, so this is a 50 mil. Um, this is going to be my first dip into the brand. Um, this uh, box looks like it went through downtown Beirut. Uh, it looks like it just got shot up, it got cut up, it got, I don't know what's going on. White is probably not the best choice um the box presentation this full leather screams screams um middle eastern clone brand packaging it, it, like screen printed and sticker looks like it's gonna rip off this full leather on here um it really does not look good personally for me now this is a brand um they're part of the free bottle brigade and I don't think traction worked here. <laughs> Not all marketing works. Um, and I, I hope that people have, you know, we'll see what this brand um, is showing, but uh, from a fragrance head standpoint that has 20 plus years in the industry, um, I have, you know, over 3000 bottles, maybe closer to four now, the way I've been unboxing things. Um, it looks like a, a brand that is just trying to cash in, right? It's, it's brands that it worked for Parfum the Marley. It worked for Initio. Obviously Parfum the Marley was so good that Initio, they branched off to another brand to make more money. Um, you know, some brands it works, some brands it don't. Um, I feel like this brand, honestly, if you're going through the YouTubes, it seems like this is a big brand, like a big luxury, amazing brand. And uh, you go anywhere else and it's crickets. Like nobody's talking about this brand. So let's get into it. Let's see what Tenebra has to offer. Now, if you aren't subscribed yet, you know, if you liked this little introduction that I do, not a lot of people do, but um, I'm a straight shooter. I'll tell you exactly what I think about a brand before even opening it, while I'm opening it, when I have several years of experience with the brand, I will tell you how I feel. Um, so let's get into it. Subscribe, hit the like button. I really appreciate that. Let's take a look at the note breakdown and the note breakdown. And I've been kind of prepping these videos. Like I have two or three of these coming up on my channel, like back to back. Um, so what I do is I look at the note breakdowns just to see in this brand feels like Roja Dove. As far as note breakdowns, like, what are you doing? Like, how many notes do you really need in a fragrance? And it was a marketing ploy. It's kind of outdated now. The, the, the thing, Royal Crown, if you're watching, um, the thing now is just putting three notes in the note breakdown, one top, one mid, and, and one at the base, and that's it. Call it a day. Don't, you know, that's your marketing. Now this marketing is a gazillion notes. So I'm assuming, I don't even know what I'm going to get here. There's tons of florals in here. Um, there's spices, there's tobacco, there's oud. Um, this one was released back in 2011. Didn't even know this brand was actually that old. Um, so let's get into it. Let's unbox this. I see this sticker is disintegrated. So I don't think that's, this one is still on. I just don't want to break the thing. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, <laughs> if you don't know why I'm laughing, it's part of the cap, <laughs> the little jewel. Uh, I feel like we're gonna get a lot of those. Uh, yeah, this is, you know, 
this is where you go and you think you're buying a luxury product, but really you're buying gar garbage. Um, how much are these? Like 500 bucks USD for 500 bucks? That's unacceptable. Um, <laughs> the, uh, if you don't know why I'm laughing, uh, the, <laughs> this looks like a Jeremy fragrance bottle. Uh, you can see the crimp, um, the neck of it. Wow. This bottle has been through downtown Beirut. Um, it lost its jewel right here. It, it's stuck in here that, and again, brands like the, like the bottle presentation, as much as fragrance reviewers, including myself, you don't want to judge a fragrance brand bottle. Um, it's all about the juice. We always say that, right? It's all about the juice inside. And it is, it is. However, a telltale sign of a brand that's cutting corners, including the juice inside, most times, it, it, this is where presentation counts because if you're putting yourself into this luxury brand, right? Now, luxury high end, and I mean not, not just Tom Ford luxury, even though Tom Ford is around the same price as this now, um, but like, let's go, you know, a cheaper, let's say a uh, luxury brand um, that's cheaper. Um, I don't know, L'Artisan Parfumeur is a luxury brand. Um, you know, something like that, like 200 bucks, right? This is double that. This is like Amouage territory, Roja Dove territory. This is ultimate luxury, Clive Christian. Um, if you're going to do this box elaborate thing, um, you can't cut corners. This, the white, the screen printed, no, um, right? Like this sticker, I, I'm probably, I don't see any that are broken. Um, as far as like the getting ripped, but like white doesn't work. Um, the cap, this probably won't be the only cap that's missing its jewel. I will be a betting man and there's going to be at least, uh, what do I have? I have six to, to look at. Um, I'm going to be betting. And this is for all the people that are with me today and always, and you watch all my videos. We're going to review six. I'm going to say betting man, at least two, no three. We'll do half. At least half of these have the broken piece here. That is an odd place to put, not an odd place, but a bad place in regards to, yeah, this is gonna move, it's gonna hit, and it's gonna rip. Like this, the collar is stuck in here. So this bottle's all kind of wrong. So 50 mil, um, this is not boding well for the brand. First impressions are not everything, but they do count and this is not good. Let's smell it. Let, let's see. Atomizer, just a small little spritz. Weak, weak sauce crown, royal crown. I was going to call you crown royal there for a second. <laughs> All right, let's smell it. Two bros, two bros, heavy white floral. Creamy two bros. Buttery tuberos, creamy, waxy, whatever you want to use. Slightly woody. A little bit of honeyed sweetness to it. For a note breakdown that is so elaborate, um, it is very one-dimensional right now off this, uh, off this strip. Tuberos, tuberos, tuberos. And I'm describing the tuberos. The tuberos is pretty decent in here. Not going to lie. Not a... Top tier two bros, not in this lifetime, um, but a good one. Let's put it on skin. Let's see what the skin does. <laughs> Should I? Okay. Don't pick it up by the cap. <laughs> You're gonna get a broken bottle. No, no. Oh, something is not working with the two bros here. It's much smoother on the strip. I, I shouldn't have got rid of that, but oh, this doesn't work on my skin. Oh my. What is that? Is that nutmeg? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, there's, this isn't working. Um, Two bros heavy, way more simplistic off the strip 
way better on the strip. This is not working with my skin at all. And for the price tag, absolute no. Um, I'm putting the hammer down today. This is a brand that is at the bottom of, you know, when you got a hill to climb with me, you're right at the bottom. You might be close to underground now. This is not good. You got shitty presentation. You got a broken down cap. And again, it's a return product. So we'll give it its just due. We'll see uh, what the reflection is. Like again, I've been reviewing return products all, all month. I haven't seen anything losing, you know, and again, this could be just a one-off. So we'll, we'll see. You know, we'll start at the bottom. Well, I'm not going to put you underground yet, but yeah, this is not, no, not good. Um, blending's off. It's, and it's not, it's not my, you know, there's certain things that I really like that I'm, I'm just like, I, I like it for what it is from afar and saying it's good quality, it's well done, but I'm not going to wear it, right? There's some things out there like that. Um, there is things that I say, hey, this is high quality, um, but, you know, I'm going to wear it from time to time, but it's probably one of the better things in that genre. This, as far as the two bros, it's a... The two bros itself is half decent. Like, let's say a half good designer release tuberose it's not amouage tuberose among others right um there's tons out there uh, it's only doing a one-dimensional tuberose there's not much of the the green in here it's just a buttery tuberose creamy you can call it whatever you want it has a little bit of vanillic tendencies as well um there's some slight woodiness like there's oud in here there's tobacco in here i'm getting none of that there's ombre gris in here like look that's a no breakdown that smells like marketing personally for me. And I'm not saying there's none of these in here. Like there's the ingredient list right here. If I did my best impersonation of Aaron Terrence Hughes here, um, where's the linalol? There it is. Uh, linalol, liminalol, eugenol. Um, yeah. Um, so there's a, a whole bunch of ingredients here that Aaron Terrence Hughes would go crazy about. Um, and all I'm getting is really buttery floral tuberose and not a, like there's iris in here like there i've smelt a really good like the autumn that's my like platform of a good iris like that's where it is that's where it starts and the um iris butteriness and creaminess kills this kills it yeah there's a, a honeyed sweetness which is okay um it's not like uh, real good raw honey that i've smelt before but as far as there's no breakdown goes, I'm not getting, let's say, two thirds of these notes. And again, it might dry down to something beautiful. But blending is, is super important. The blending is kind of scratchy to me personally. Um, the notes aren't working together on my skin on piece of paper. It was one dimensional. So for the note breakdown, it was kind of poop. Um, yeah. So as far as this brand goes, uh, the only thing I can think of right now is that I got five more of these to smell and uh, it makes me sad. <laughs> what I do, uh, but hey, you know what? This puts all the right back into the fragrance community. It really, if you take a look at fragrance reviews on this brand, um, I would bet my whole collection right now because it's all free bottle brigade. Nobody, I don't mean nobody, but most people are not spending, how much is this $400 USD, give or take, for this brand? Nobody's spending it out of their own money as a fragrance YouTuber buying these. These are free bottle brigade only. People that get like several of these in the mail, don't trust them, don't like them. Um, I would assume they're giving flowers to this brand, amazing luxury brand, a luxury product, blah, 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 blah. Marketing 101. So I'm putting a little bit more right into the world, like Royal Crown stock on YouTube is sky high. I just did this to it. Oh no, oh no, there's some truth somewhere. <laughs> no, um, I don't have that much influence. It probably went dip just a little bit, like one or two people are like, aha. So hopefully that helps and there's gonna be more of this on the channel. I can't, can't wait. 
to smell these. Um, I don't know, like it doesn't, yeah, two rows is okay. That's it. I'm not getting anything else on here. Now, talking about where I got this, well, fragflex.com. Now, again, don't give them, you know, grief in regards to what the presentation I got, right? Um, this is a returned product. Now, I'd be cautious to buy this anywhere, not just a discounter, um, just because of what I've seen here. Like, what are the odds that the first one I get is in this repair like this? But you can buy these at fragflex.com for a heavy discount for sure. You can use my code TFG10, you get 10% off on a price like this. Honestly, if you want my honest opinion, and again, you know, YouTubers that give out codes usually is positive. Go buy this. You know, this is great. This is amazing. No, don't buy it at all. Don't, okay? But if you want to, <laughs> please use my code. 10% off on $400. I don't know how much it is at discounters. Probably a lot less than that. Um, yeah, it's a significant chunk of money. But I would, as a human being to another, right? I... I I don't have a business mind in this. this is just, I'm just being honest with you. I would, as a fragrance YouTuber that is here, as an honest YouTuber, I would tell you right now, cautious, stay away from this brand. We'll see how I go through. Let's come see me after six bottles in and we'll see where, where we're at. Um, and I'm, I'm, you know what, my, my, uh, my subscribers, Tell me, I know that this is a lot of redundant, there's a lot of unboxings here from this Frag Flex Mega Haul. I'm not even, you know, I'm, I'm close to finishing, but I still got at least another 30, 40 of these to go. But um, let me know in the comments <laughs> um, if you want me to do a rundown of everything I've unboxed, like brand new brands to me, what I'm excited about, what I'm not. Um, I might do a kind of sit down video, maybe a live or something like that in regards to all of these that I'm unboxing. I'm having fun. Right, this is, and again, this is not serious. Like I'm not, like after the video goes, I'm angry. No, I'm kind of like, it's kind of a poopy scent of the day though. Um, and I'm kind of not, I'm kind of worried about the other ones there, um, what I'm gonna be getting. But other than that, now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. <laughs> Good, bad, ugly, your experience. Um, Did you think of this brand like I did? Like my first impression of this brand, like, off the bean path, I've never smelled it, never saw it, right? When I started this video, I was like, this reminds me of somebody that is trying to bamboozle us, this brand. Like this is a Middle Eastern clone, whatever, cheap, cheap stuff with trying to be Roja Dove-esque with their bottle presentation and kind of using influencers to market. Now I'm kind of curious to go on YouTubes and go Crown Royal royal crown there and type it in and see which which uh bozos uh reviewed this thing <laughs> and gave it <laughs> amazing not not this particular fragrance but this brand and gave it flowers i just want to see who's who's uh who to subscribe and who not to <laughs> anyway i'd like to see those comments below if you have smelt this particular fragrance i don't think they're really popular so it's going to be probably crickets but as always a great report fragrance will make a lasting impression Choose your scent wisely. And yes, you know, all these influencers that are, you know, pushing products that are four, five, six, seven hundred dollars a pop. Um, you have to say, like, if you had to do something, sample them. Spend 10 bucks to get a sample of this $500 fragrance just to see. Um, and you may come out just like me and go, oh, good, I saved myself $490, right? Anyway, have a good one, YouTube. On to the next.